You know, the way that we live our lives has a great deal to do with the way that we treat our animals. We have to realize that these animals are here for a reason. You know, there was a time when we could converse with each other. I got to know the land in a way that I could not otherwise have known it. You're riding the horse, there's this living motion under you, and it is striking the earth, you know, and that's bringing the energy of the earth up into you. It's a wonderful experience, and I, I, I wish everybody could have that. They were free to range a thousand miles in every direction, elevated to a height from which they could see the far world. So they were cut free of the ground, and uh, they did become, in, in a real sense, um, centaurs. The horse and the man were one entity. It enabled them to reach the, the pinnacle of their culture. There's no need for them to be neglected. There's so no need for hundreds and hundreds of animals to be without human help, taken care of, fed. That's why they're here. We have to take care of Mother Earth. It, it hurts. It hurts to see this. You know, it's, I want my grandkids to see uh, a wild herd of buffalo a wild herd of horses running free. You know, people don't understand, you know, that, that that's more important than money. You know, that's, that's good for the soul. It makes people happy to see wild things run free. Mustangs and Renegades, a modern-day Western. <laughs>